<clears throat> hey you two, it's Bar Double R here. Uh, you're not gonna see me today because uh, I'm just gonna talk from behind the camera because I am looking rough. <laughs> I mean, rougher than normal. I mean, I know I'm not, you know, clean shaven all the time, but it was pretty rough. We uh, we uh, don't have any water, it froze, and plus uh, we hadn't been, we didn't go into town last night, and so anyway, long story, but. I want to show you what I'm having to do here. All our water is basically froze up. We got some for in the house and for bottle feeding and stuff, but I mean, we're having to be very frugal with it. And what I did, basically built this fire and have kept it going as much as possible. And it melts it down where the cows can get a sip if they want, uh, which I noticed the goats are, nobody's been just real thirsty. And uh, the goats are apparently, they're, they're like deer, they're eating ice or eating snow. And of course I got plenty of hay for them, so they're not gonna get too cold or burn up all their energy. So anyway, but this did work. Uh, not great. Uh, there's some things I could do different and better. Maybe put some rocks where it'd hold the heat longer. Uh, maybe build a barrier around, I mean, of course, <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some electricity down here before next winter and uh and have it where we can keep the a heater in the water tank but uh so i won't have to do this crow magnon neanderthal type situation uh some of y'all are maybe wondering why i have a plastic bucket next to it uh you can actually now I have gotten it a little bit hot but it, you can actually boil water in a plastic bottle if you've got it set right now I wouldn't advise that except for an extreme measure. Uh, there's no telling what kind of conjunctifunctus will leach out of that plastic from the heat. But if you're needing to boil water and and to drink or something and absolutely had to, that's that is an option. Anyway, I want to show you this. Cows over here. I've been. I wish I I'd filmed a while ago. They were actually getting a drink. I've added some more snow to try to get it to melt. Since we have snow in Texas six inches deep uh <clears throat> let me show you this i think you saw yesterday you saw a picture of peach laying with that baby well she's still must be the warmest thing on the planet because she that baby's still staying right by her and so is her mom and that's a good dog right there Gonna be a tough little Billy. <laughs> anyway, everybody's just hunkering down. I'm giving them a lot of extra hay. There's gonna be a lot of wasted hay. I'm blowing through my feed. Probably gonna use about a month's worth of feed in about this week, but that's okay. Gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, everybody's just kind of hunkered down. Everybody's doing good over here. That mama's sunning, but. Everybody's just kind of laying low and you can see all the hay. Uh, they've got plenty of bedding and a snack when they want it. And I keep adding more to it, so. Anyway, I don't know if you can see them now. I just realized that you can't maybe. There you go, you can see them sitting in that bucket. I'll get a better view. I'll try not to fall in the process. I still have two more that i know of that are pretty heavy bred like i was actually shocked they didn't pop last night i'm glad they didn't i hope they can hold off a little bit but you see that baby there by her mama i'm just taking a nap and then those two guys they're just soaking it up they were out playing the other day like it was nothing <laughs> got a calyx splitting his head like <laughs> mcfly that might be that one's name mcfly but uh anyway that's where we're at i didn't have to go to work today so it's kind of a good thing i can help miss bar double r with the bottle feeding and stuff instead of dumping it all on her i really need to come down here and try to milk some goats but i do not want to <laughs> it's just cold and uh i think at some point about midday i'm gonna try to go into town and try to get some more milk um yeah, after after the classroom you can actually feed them whole milk it's not terribly bad for them and uh i don't know i might get ambitious and come back down here 
I'll try to film that if I do. If it's not, since it's not snowing and stuff, I might try to set up my camera and film, film that. Anyway, that's what we're what we're doing. Hey YouTube, it's Bar Double R here. It is cold. <laughs> oh my gosh, today's been a hard day. Last four days have been hard days. Uh, trying to keep babies from freezing. I think we're had like I think three more today, so I don't even know. I don't even know how many we got now. I'll have to get a count. I'll take some pictures later and post them. A little video footage. Uh, man, this is crazy. And I've said it once, and I'll say it again, I've learned a lot. I know what not to do and what I need to do in the future. Uh, for the cows, for the goats, for me. <laughs> uh, we've already, already fed and stuff, and they got tons of hay. Come to find out, hay helps keep them warm. So, I mean, not that I didn't think that would happen, but I thought really regular feed or creep feed was better for keeping them warm. That's not true. Uh, from what I read, like hay, roughage, stuff that they have to, I guess apparently that takes longer to digest is the best thing to do. Uh, so, learned something there. Uh, anyway, um, let me find my highly technical survival dog here give her some she's a little spolt especially when it's cold and nasty uh give her some perina and then some of this highfalutin high protein high fat stuff and then half a can of regular dog food here you go girl she's gonna bark at him i told, I told you <laughs> but they know better she warns them let me look under here. Yeah, somebody's hunkered down in there. A bunch of people are hunkered down in there. Where's her mama? Okay, her mama's over there. Yeah, everybody's hunkered down. All right, these guys, they're, they're staying there. You can see little two guys in the bucket and the mom that got bit by the dog across the nose, she's there. Yeah, everybody's just gonna do their thing. Anyway, uh, sorry, you may notice I have rubber glove on. It just makes life better. Uh, keeps, when your gloves, your leather gloves get a little wet, it protects them and actually they stay a lot warmer. Plus I was milking, hold on a second, I'm trying to put my glove back on. Oh, forget that. I uh milking when it's below freezing is very unpleasant so with these little these uh, rubber gloves on come on Gus come on buddy let's go so with the rubber gloves on it keeps keeps it where you can do that without your hands getting all froze up and stuff um still running this uh you probably saw a few burn like burned hair marks on my goats well uh, i didn't have enough stuff in front of it and they got kept got too close to it and singed their hair a little bit they're fine it didn't even get to the skin but now they're marked they're brown when i first saw it i thought somebody got attacked again but that wasn't the case uh but by keeping this going they're able to get it's not the prettiest water but it's water we don't we always try to give them clean water but we're just in survival mode right now we're just trying to get them water period we're lucky it's, it's decent water come on guys come on buddy here comes my trusty dog he gets distracted on the way out sometimes see here all right you can see here we we kicked the the cows are out they were bullying all the uh all the goats pushing them out of the warm spots and eating all the hay like i couldn't keep hay in there you can see hold on me walk sorry 
a little scattered here. You can see right over there, I was able to put hay out. The goats will eat and then they'll stop when they get full. And then they also have a wind barrier because the wind right now is coming out of the south. Well, the cows will sit there and eat it till it's gone. So that works out better. Uh, in the future, the cows in the winter time are probably gonna be separated at least especially during when they start having babies or if it's real harsh they're gonna be separated from the goats for many reasons i'm not gonna get into that but i wanted to also say i don't want anybody thinking i'm being all cruel to them and kicking them out because they're basically pet cows they're not your hard hardened street cows uh they've got some shelter to get in it's just the winds out of the south and they they're warmer there behind that that wall the shelter they have access to is open to that side which would be like that in the other area too so anyway they're not being mistreated uh not one bit anyway um tonight i'll probably throw this together i think i'm looking at like six seven minutes here uh I will probably add, so I took some footage yesterday and my wife, uh, she took some footage of the, some baby goats playing. These were some of the ones that were born right before the cold snap hit. And uh, basically they are just when they come out playing, having a good old time when it gets warm enough. And uh, so I'll, we'll, I'll throw that footage in too. Some other kind of random bits here and here. I, We've been so busy, I hadn't even really filmed much. And there's been a lot of stuff I wish I could have. But, again, like I said, we're just in survival mode. I've been, we have been on the go for the last, this will be day four. Right? No. This will be day three. So, yeah. Come on, buddy. So, anyway. Uh didn't get much footage done but that's okay uh like i said i'll add throw some stuff in i got a i got some video of gus getting some goats out of a pen and i'm probably just gonna throw some random stuff in there just to get this up to 20 minutes or so anyway please like and subscribe i, I won't be saying anything at the end of this please like and subscribe and uh Oh, I know what I need to tell you. So, on top of everything that's gone down this last three days, I also ran over my wife's dog. Not on purpose. He should have known better, but he's okay. Don't worry. He's he's alive and he's he's real sore. But every day he gets a little bit more back to himself, and uh, he'll be. He'll be back in no time. His his feet, I think it just went over his feet and they were busted up pretty good. About his hind feet. Um, I'll try to take a picture of him later or something. Maybe. <laughs> but uh, anyway, yeah, not fun. Uh, total accident and hopefully he learns from this one. Hopefully he learns to just pay attention. That was all he did is he just didn't pay attention. I was going slow down the road and he just walked in there so anyway uh yeah i don't think i would mention that yet so please like and subscribe uh, i don't even know oops i can't do that uh the 16th today's the 16th and uh I will get back at you. Hey YouTube, this is Bart Blower. I've got like, this will be the third day and I plan on getting this on tonight because I'm not exhausted. So, uh going down i've been doing this every night go down and check make sure first i want to see 
So, okay, let me back up. This morning, we had a baby, I had a mom having birth, gave birth, or was giving birth, and <clears throat> she, I'm not gonna turn you around because I don't know where you'll be at in the picture, so I'm just gonna leave you like this. So, she was giving birth, the hoof was sticking out, but the baby wasn't coming, and she was having a hard time. And this is the first time for me, I actually was able to grab that hoof, get the other hoof out. I got lucky because it was easy, it was right there. And then I was pulling and pulling and, and wasn't coming out and I was just dying, dry heaving. It was like, Ooh, pulling and all this. And finally, I saw some lips and some teeth and I was able to get the baby's head out and then it came right out. It was a big baby, that was the deal. Anyway, luckily we were able, we brought it in, warmed it up because it was cold. It was this morning. We bottle fed it a couple of times. We, were, we brought it back down here when we fed this afternoon and the mom and milked the mom and let it nurse on the mom and the mom took it back. So I'm going to check and see how that's going and make sure if she's not laying by it or not keeping it warm or something, then we'll take it back in. If it's by its mama, I'm going to let nature take its course and hope that she does a good job so we'll go see Ugh. hold on just a second I'm gonna set you down because I gotta zip up my coat Sorry about that. Uh, we're gonna hope. I'll get some light off in a second. Sorry, that's a two-handed gate. Let's see what we got here. Let me turn on the light on this. Well, maybe not. Let's see what we got here. hunkered up there that's good they're doing good and mama's with her baby and he's not shaking well, I'm gonna open this up and let people in we pinned them up by themselves earlier to uh, just give increase the odds and apparently that worked Sorry about the shaky and the moments of nothing and all that. Oh yeah, that baby is fine. Mama's keeping her nice and warm. Mama's by her, that's what matters. Let's look at these guys over here. Everybody's doing good. And that mama's babies are right there in that tub. Staying nice and toasty. All right. Well, YouTube, that is what we call a win. Mama didn't die. Baby survived, and baby is thriving, and a beast. And that's a doling too. She's gonna be a monster. Uh, let's see. Make sure nobody else is having issues. All right. Peach, hey Peach, come here, buddy. Come here. Good girl. Oh, you can't see when I. Okay. <laughs> well, we're gonna get out of here. And that mama. That's her mama right there. I think. Or here. Where is she? No, that's not her mama. Where's her mama? 
That's not her mama. Oh, this may be her mom. That may be her mom right there. So looking, I'm, I'm gonna turn this off. Sorry to waste your time. Y'all you know, have a good evening. Stay warm. Please like and subscribe. I'm up to 21. Uh, thank you, whoever 21 was. And let's go for 22. Thanks, y'all. Have a good night. Bye. Hey, YouTube. I want to show you something here. Goats are unique, and I'm sure there's other animals that do this, but goats have a tendency to like bond like daughters and moms bond and stay bonded for a long time and i'll show you what i mean or tell you what i mean so this is the mom in the center the one on the right is last year's baby and this one's this year's baby last year's baby which is an adult actually has been nursing off the mom and she's letting her which is kind of weird but either way but the bond that they have is unbelievable. I've seen it multiple times in different situations. And I'll show you another situation right over here. Here's mom right there. She's going to have babies soon. That one right there is last year's baby. That one over there is last year's baby. And they always hang out together. It's kind of odd. Anyway, it's kind of different. Kind of different. Alright, I'm out this time for sure. <laughs> Bye. Please like and subscribe.